Yo, sup? I'm gonna be showing you how to do compositing. For beginners, you gotta make sure you uh, already know how to use After Effects. Like, it's not that hard, bro. It can be manga or like just anime masking. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it on day and night. So, first, we have to add all the shadowing and the lighting. Firstly, I usually just peek on this guy after you have a mask. All attributes, blah, blah, blah. And once he's peek on, you gotta add drop shadow the normal after effects um built-in one you don't need sapphire or anything for this and then you need that matte and c composite we take off rgb only you change this to multiply we take shadow only and you don't touch that matte you change the direction depending on where the light source is you can't really tell but um light source is right here so i'm gonna kind of angle it like to the right almost you can change the softness of the shadow so how harsh and how you know lined it is i'm gonna keep it on two i think two looks good so after that we're just gonna change the opacity and this is you know how dark the shadow is so it seems pretty pretty dim if you will i'm gonna keep that on like 60 maybe that looks pretty good i guess so now you know you can change it to maybe a more tinted dark blue if you will kind of adds that like color to it so maybe here just a little darker looks pretty good that's pretty good now to match the color kind of we're just gonna add tint and then you change it to you know let's say this color and then you lower down the amount of tint just play around with it i'm not gonna go over how coloring works etc but this is basic so it's not that hard and after that you want to duplicate them and delete everything you have so this is for the um the shadowing so you can use our what's called ramp really ramp so here invert our uh, shop colors have it there kind of in the back radial move it a little you can kind of have the light maybe tinted a little bit blue kind of adds to like the dark the dark feel and the you know the colors then you change to multiply multiply keeps the darkness and removes like the light in it or um like cosmo would say um a multiplier removes the hard working white white pixels and keeps the black dirty ones in check boom now once you got that down you want to add the lighting too so i'm gonna add um i'm gonna duplicate them again control d and then you wanna swap all right you wanna change the multiply to add and change it to a little blue tinted and move it kind of farther now after this we're gonna do it for the background too if it's way too dark in comparison to your character you can either just lower the darkness on the character or you could duplicate your background change it to add and then lower the opacity so it's brighter all right so to add i guess stuff to field really simple you can just select the original layer you add um camera blur or bokeh bokeh is um way better because just this just get it it's not that hard you turn blur radius to whatever you want so i'm gonna keep it at maybe 12 uh exposure i'm gonna make all this higher so like you can see how it gets those little sources of light really really bright yeah, like that looks pretty good to me 
uh, an, a touch like overall just to help everything blend together you add two solids or just one i guess you can just duplicate it change it to a kind of like lightish blue I like the way this looks now and yeah that's basically how they do night compositing next <laughs> so firstly you gotta make sure you decompose them again because if you add any other effects on it well if you let's say you mess it in after effects if you any, add anything else it's not gonna work properly so you gotta make sure you pre comp so drop shadow set matte ET composite turn off RGB only multiply and you tick shadow so the next thing we can do is we can add tint and I guess sun is yellow, so obviously it's gonna be a little yellow. After we're done with that, we do the same thing. So you duplicate it, you remove everything, you add your gradient up. Radio, swap colors, change the color to a little bit of a, a sunny yellow. And you play with it until you think it looks cool or something. You can adjust it as you go on. So I just thought it was a little too dark. Not that I'm being racist or anything. If you like how it looks, you continue on with duplicating it and then you just change it to add so after you're done with that you do the background too i don't think um any more light is needed on the background so what we can do now is add a solid can do the lighting so now to add the flare you can just duplicate the solid again add the optical flares so for this you can just go for anything you like so preset browser all that stuff you can go for cause yeah i guess i'm gonna go with this there are a lot of things that you can change up so it's all up to your preference i'm gonna kind of remove that and then you change this to on transparent and you play around with the optical first Once you're done with that, you can animate it however you want. You can also animate the gradients. And then you're done. Nico. Nico. So for the CC, it usually depends. I can add an adjustment layer. Yeah, it looks. You know, you can play around with things. I'm personally not the best at CCs. I usually do like the presets that they have on looks. Or just use a brand and let with like your own thing. If you want for that classic um mad look, I guess. Elevator flight is pretty good. You can just search it up. If you're previewing it and it has this problem, that's completely fine. That just means that 
but like I see a little bit zoomed out but once you zoom in it'll be full quality so you don't have to worry once you're editing that's all for today guys thank you for watching I hope this tutorial helped you in any way shape or form uh, if you want any other tutorials you guys can just comment it down below something i don't know no, yeah it's not that hard and yeah goodbye good luck compositing